Good morning, family. You know, I have the dubious honor of having watched and felt many businesses fail. And it's always a, a hard time. It's always a, a challenge. But God has always come through. God has always restored. God has always renewed. So I thought I will share some of the hard days in life with you guys. And um, hopefully somebody gets encouraged by a hard day that God has brought us through. In August of 1999, that's 25 years ago, some of you might not even have been born, but um, we had a word from God about starting a business and it was my dream to have the same kind of business as my dad had with boating in Neisner. And miraculously, it happened that I was able to buy a business. Somebody came in partnership with us uh, by surprise, nearly. And God started working and we had this wonderful business. And then it was expected that tourism was going to be crazy at the end of 1999 because of the change of the millennium and so on. So we were ready for a big season. But in August of 1999, I remember it as clear as day, the 15th of August, shortly before my birthday, the Lord spoke to my wife and I that we must go full-time into ministry and we must leave business. And I had a meeting with my staff and I said, guys, you must start looking for other work. I'm closing the business because God said close the business. It was my dream job. It was everything I wanted. But I heard God say close it. And I got ready to close it. And when I had this meeting with my staff, they all said, why don't you just go through this December and then close after this season because we've got bookings and everything is good. And it was so exciting for the December coming up. So I didn't ask God. I just agreed with them and said, okay, I will redo this um, closing thing in January of the year 2000 but I'm going to go through this summer so the next morning I had to take my son to school uh, Jared was just about 10 years old and uh, taking him to Kettenberg Bay about 30 kilometers from Meisner and I decided to spend some time with God at the beach in Kettenberg Bay just by myself, just me and God so I left my phone at home which I never do, but I decided that morning it was just me and God. So what happened was that there was a furious storm the previous night and our boat, which was my pride and joy, which was just something incredible that we took people out to go diving with outside of Niles and was tied up in the water. And unbeknown to me, it had broken off during the night. And one of my friends had stopped by the water to see if it was the water was calm enough that they could go out to sea to go fish as a commercial fisherman. And he saw my boat drifting towards the waves with what looked like I was on the boat, but I wasn't doing anything. And it's pretty dark. He starts phoning me to say, and I said, what are you doing? You're messing up. But to cut the long story short, I wasn't on my phone and I wasn't responding. And the boat got washed out to sea and got smashed on the rocks in Neisner. By the time I got home, my wife came out running and said to me, the boat was broken loose, you must go. And I rushed to the waterfront. I got to our shop and I was just in time to see the boat come up one last time and then sink. And that devastation I felt when that pride and joy, that dream, that thing that was making money, the thing that was just so beautiful, sank. I can never describe it. I was standing there in the heads in the pre-dawn and Nisner, and I just could not believe that it was God. That which God had promised, that which I had seen come together, is suddenly missing, suddenly gone. And I believe that many people that are in business will go through moments like that when you just cannot believe the destruction. Satan comes out in destruction and he comes out to destroy. And I know that if I had listened to God the previous day and closed the business, the boat wouldn't have sank. So we tried to go through that December holiday with a 
a rented boat, but it wasn't half the size of our boat. It kept on breaking down and it was just a mess of a December. It, there was lots of trouble and, and so on. And we lost so many hundreds of thousands of rand between that August and the January that I then wanted to close the business because I didn't listen to God. So God has restored us again, gave us new openings, gave us new things, gave us jobs, gave us established us in churches again in places. But I want to reach out to everybody going through difficult, difficult moments where you see no step forward. I, it's 25 years later, but I can still feel the anxiousness of that moment when the boat's point just came up, the nose just came up once and then sank behind the waves. And we went diving, looking for it. We tried to salvage it and so on, but we just got a few broken pieces. It was gone. It was never recovered. But I want to say God restores. God will restart. God will get things up and going again. The important message I want to bring across today is listen for the instructions. Wait for the moments when God speaks. And you, I didn't understand the day before how serious the instruction was when God said close the business. And I missed God. But I've also seen God of his soul. And I want to encourage you, if you have gone through a moment of despair, if you've gone through a moment of failure, if you've gone through a moment where nothing worked, I promise you there is life on the other side of it. There is something powerful on the other side of it. Just hold on. Get through this. God forgives and God restores. He always restores. I hope you're encouraged. I hope you understand that it doesn't matter how much trouble you go through, God says, I'll meet you on the other side. God bless you. Have a great day.